should not be giving charity. We, people should not be sympathized with, uh, with us, but they should empathy with us. Because we don't like charity. People give us coins and other things. So we are trying to solve that kind of perception from other people in the society. And more to the point, when you look at the, the, the common fund, we, we monitor the common for the use of the common fund that, that government has set aside for persons with disability. So we look at it critically and see how it will benefit members and we also report on it to our national headquarters and to, to, to so for the government to make more uh, effort to, uh, to be releasing this fund. Uh, we also try to network with other organizations to see the mobility gadgets and then mobility aid, hearing aid and other things for our members. So basically this is what we are doing. And we, when you look at the educational pattern, uh, a lot of the disabled people have no educational background because of what? Due to financial problems. So we are intending of setting up a educational fund that can support the needs of the disabled people to go to school. So basically, this is what I can br briefly say about the, the concept of a resource center, is to bring all disabled people together in general public so that we can network. Thank you. I think it's important to remember that there are numerous causes of disability and that unfortunately disability can occur at any stage in one's life. For instance, you can have genetic disorders whereby you're born blind or deaf or with a physical challenge or you can develop through genetic disorders a physical disability later on in life. There's also issues such as accidents and in fact, many people here in Africa do become disabled through accidents such as car collisions or sports injuries, or even through improper treatment of injuries. There's also conditions such as cataracts and glycoma, which affect a person's ability to see clearly. These conditions can also be treated if caught early, but like ear infections too, if left unintreated, can cause blindness or deafness. There are also a number of issues such as viruses like polio and meningitis that can result in a small number of individuals being permanently physically disabled. I think just as it is important to support every human being to achieve his or her goals in life, it is also important to support people with disabilities. Uh, current statistics shows that uh, people with disabilities are among the poorest of the poor in society. They need support to get out of, 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 this, of this situation. We find that people with disabilities tend to have uh, low self-esteem and then confidence and without support i don't think they can build their self-esteem and confidence i also believe that people with disability have the right to dream and also have aspirations just like every other human being does and if people with disabilities are not supported and encouraged then their aspirations and dreams just remain that aspirations and dreams they need to be supported they need to be encouraged they need to build their self-esteem they need to improve upon their confidence and if, if, if not supported, then it becomes difficult because society tends to stigmatize people with disabilities. As Mr. Samed was saying, they don't need sympathy, but they need empathy. If you empathize with someone, you put your, yourself in the person's shoes, you feel what the person feels. I believe that it's, it, it's, it, will be it is only going to be possible to support people with disabilities if you start to empathize with them. 
instead of sympathize with them. If you sympathize with me, then you are giving me something just because you have to. But if you empathize with me, that is where you are putting yourself in my shoes. That is where you are trying to feel what I feel. And that is where you start to understand what I'm going through. And I think it is really, really, really important to support people with disabilities because they have great potentials. And that, uh, and if, 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 if they reach those potentials, I think it's very, very helpful for the nation. They, they, they have a role to play in national development and they shouldn't just be left in rooms. They should be supported to come out and then help in nation building.